All right, Shalom, Shalom. We're the real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great. First off and foremost, call Halayim, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elder apostles, the great millstone, and salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Um, I was really supposed to do this video like two or three weeks ago, but in the truth, you really can't make plans. So you just really got to go according to the spirit. So now the spirit is having me come out with this lesson, which is basically a response to the series that Elder Apostle Gabar had did about being predestinated, you know, you know whether that caused the up war or maybe it was just people who just didn't understand it, uh, understand it. But indeed, the elect is predestinated. And indeed, by default, like the Elder Apostle said, they're going to keep the law to the best of their abilities. The Elder never said well, uh, the elect ain't got to keep the law, or therefore the predestination, the predestinated ones don't have to keep the law. Well, the thing about that is, if we knew who the hell we were in reincarnation, if we were of the elect or not, we'll be walking around on the earth proud as hell. Hence, there's no need of faith. If I'm not part of the elect, then... Why am, why, am, why am I hoping? Why am I uh, a prisoner of hope? I'm hoping to be a part of the elect. But really, and I had a conversation with the brother of Tazarania, the elect is solely up to Yahweh himself. Yahweh Shai even said it. He said, whom, th uh, whom uh, those whom th uh, thou hast given me. All right? So Yahweh Shai didn't even pick out the elect. Yahweh solely did it. And he thought, and he, he really he considered it before he even uh, he it's like it before he even did it, you know. So like I'm just hiding the spirit right now, and I'm gonna prove it with this one scripture. Well, this chapter, Second Editors six and one. And when I get to the verse that's gonna make my point, I'll probably stop there. It says he said to me in the beginning, when the earth was made before the borders of the world stood. Or ever the winds blew, before it uh, thundered, lightning, or ever the foundations of paradise were laid, which is this actual earth, because it was called Eden. All right. So before this earth was made, before the fair flowers were seen, or the uh, even the movable powers were established, before the innumerable multitude of angels were gathered. All right. Or ever the uh the height of the air was lifted up before the measures of the firmament were named or ever the chimneys in Zion was hot in air the present years were sought out and or even the inventions of them that now Salakia, inventions of them that now sin were turned before they were sealed that have gathered faith for a treasure, which is the point. That's the point right there I want to get into, brothers. Before they were sealed that had the uh that had gathered faith for a treasure. Then did I consider these things, and they were made all were made uh through me alone, and through no none other. And uh it says by me also shall these be ended by none other so it's all up to Yahweh solely so he said before they were sealed that had gathered up faith for a treasure who's that the that's the elect so Yahweh considered before anything was created all right before he even made his elect he considered it first he thought about it he went through the thought process of choosing spirits to be the elect before he created the spirits that's heavy when you really think about that concept or that that breakdown because it's raw <laughs> all right <laughs> like cap would say all right when you think of that man that's freaking heavy so you bet hey you bet your last dollar we predestinated if we are of the elect like ephesians speaks uh speaks about all right, in countless other scriptures, when you look up uh, pre, uh, uh, the word predestinated in the scriptures, 
All that is leading back unto the elect. But I give you this. Just as the elect is predestinated, so is you two thirds and the wicked and you heathens are predestinated. All right. You guys are going to get your destruction. All right. Uh, uh, your four sore judgments. All right. You're predestinated for that. Hey, guess what? Yahweh considered it. Yahweh considered it. So you can't get mad at the prophets because the things we say and it rubs you wrong. Hey, I'm sorry Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai set. No, I ain't sorry. I ain't sorry that Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai set us up. All right? The predestined, hey, listen, the predestinated ones have the truth. And will always have the truth. You know why? Because they were predestinated. I like the scripture say, the foreknowledge. <laughs> I, I, I'm about to get the, I have to get the Ephesians. Hold on. Yeah, I, I had to get it. Ephesians 1 and 5. Having predestinated us to the adoptions of children by Yahweh Shai Mashiach to himself according to the good pleasure of his will. So this was all his will. When he considered it, it was all his will, all right? He says, having predestinated us to the adoption, all right? The placements of sons. Hey, what does Romans 9 say about the adoption, all right? So if we're the elect, guess what? We're already, hey, we're already predestinated for the, uh, getting on them chariots. We are already predestinated uh, for, uh, for getting exempt from this judgment, all right? We're already predestinated not to take the mark of the beast. All right. We're already predestinated to get the truth. All right. That's a true statement. All right. But the uh, the, the flip coin to that, the flip side to that is we don't know if we have the elect or not. That's why we pray. We fast. We go out there and do the works. We show our works by our faith. We have faith that we may be those guys. All right. And we're going to strive lawfully until we receive that crown. See, that's the mind state of somebody that is predestinated to be the elect. They're going to fight no matter what. All right. Romans 8, 38 and 39. All right. That's the character of a predestinated electos. All right. Uh, I'm just jump to verse 11. It says, in whom also... We have obtained an inheritance <laughs> being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will, which is Yahweh. All right. That we should be the praise of his glory who first trusted Mashiach. So we're talking about Yahweh here who pressed uh, and predestinated us. All right. Who chose us before he even created us. Before he even created the heavens, man. That's a heavy thought. That's something brothers sit down and really consider. Because it ain't up to us, man. Hey, Yahweh said it best. I hey, I will have mercy on who I will have mercy and compassion on, uh, upon who I will have comp uh, compassion. And I'll tell you this. Whoever the elect is, man, Yahweh hey, he has mercy and compassion on you. Ultimately, and that's the breakdown, man. All right. I think I got one more for you. All right. I'm going to end it with this, man. First Peter 1 and 2. Elect according to the foreknowledge of Yahweh thy father through sanctification of the spirit unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. Grace unto you and peace be multiplied. Hey, so this blessing really was only to the elect. Because <laughs> it said grace be unto you and peace be multiplied. He didn't say everybody else. He didn't say the niggas that was outside the elect. Yeah, we may hey, 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 salute you because that's what we're supposed to do according to uh, uh, the script. But other than that, this thing is about the elect. Fuck everybody else outside that circle. And I really mean that, man. That's how it's in the scriptures. All right. We only worried about the elect, man. All right. 
Uh, and when I say the elect, the predestinated ones, and I say that really to rub it in your goddamn face, man. Hey, so with that, hey, I, I, I pray that this was uh, edifying, all right, to you brothers that's searching and seeking, all right. Salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Hey, all praises, honor, and glory be unto you. How about Shai? Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to the elect, wherever you. <laughs> You may be uh, dwelling wherever the hell Satan's dwelling, man. <laughs> and that's here on this earth. So wherever the elect is, hey, peace and grace be multiplied unto you. With that, shalom.